Right though, so we're at it again on the Manta. So on this side now, dealing with this uh, corner pillar. I did hope to get more done in this video, but it's, uh, as you'll see, the, as soon as I got the angle wheel out, they had the, the cheese effect. So the, or the doily effect, I think the car SOS like to call it. Um, so I had to do more of a repair on this section of pillar here than I planned. But that's okay, it's, uh, it's got to be done. So you'll see how we uh, cope with this. Again, section by section, swing it around to keep the shapes that are there. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, see you at the end of it. So this evening's challenge is to see what happens to this when we get the angry wheel to it. And I've had a gentle poke with a screwdriver and it ain't looking good. So let's attack it and see what happens. Got some new angry reels. Needle some. Let's see what these are like. Yep, consistent again. That didn't look quite so bad until I started attacking it and now it looks like Swiss cheese. Joyo. Okay, so as before we'll repair this section here first then work our way up to sort out this section up here. Just pull the water bottle and gubbins out of that corner so we can get a good poke about in there. That all seems Pretty solid in there, so that's good news. I think I'll uh, do this section here first. So the idea is to cut out uh, pretty much all that, really, down to there, and let the piece in there. So we're looking. Just using me off cuts. That'll do us nicely. A bit tight on this side of the car because I'm up against my, <laughs> my fence. We'll uh, try and do our best to keep it, keep out the way of the camera. So, uh, like previously, we'll make a piece first before we start chopping out. A bit of a bend on that. You better to go that way then. Got more, more bending power that way. Promise it. All right, that'll do us roughly, just very roughly got that cut out and shaped. And now we can start messing around with cutting and butting. Well, the inner structure that's strengthened down there seems pretty good, so that's a promising sign. That's part of that that carries on down there, so that's good. We'll give that a clean and a bit of a well through primer on that. And on the back of this piece. Right, uh, let's see about getting this in place. The, the uh, bell through primers dried off, or set, I should say. We can uh, see about wedging this into place. Now, I was going to do a cut and butt, but I forgot about the inner structure. It's on there, so I'm probably just going to have to mess it out with the snips and get it the tighter fit. A lot of people have hung up on getting a super, super tight fit. Me, not so much. As long as it's 
within a millimetre or so, then the weld will fill it. Right, what I think I need to do is, yeah, just get that little edge there just to turn up a touch. And we can sneak that in with our grips. So. Okie dokie, right, I think I'll start spotting this in, then we come to, when I come to this edge, I will trim this and tap it in as we go in. Okay, well that wasn't intentional, but as I've been tapping it on the edge here, what I was trying to do is get that edge to turn back up in there a little bit, and actually see the line which I want to be cutting off at. I can do the old old MOT bodge and just overlap weld everything and not care. No, I can't do that. The plan now is to weld up to the edge there, but not down there. Just getting that for the shape I want, because I'll be replacing this section here next. Rather than making life hard for myself, let's do it easy way. Just like the other side, colour right up to the edge of the tape. Or if you've got a thick sharpie, which I do have inside, but I'm too lazy to go and get it, it's easier. Peel that off, and then cut. Cut so that edge there with the jigsaw, and boom, that'll be our piece. Just like so. Now we can cut that piece out on the scratch lines we got on there, and we shouldn't be a million miles away. All the while avoiding our door, which is good. The inner pillar is not too bad on this side. Okay, let's get that piece in next. A bit of uh, well through in there first as best we can. We'll see about making that that shape. It's like bending it that way. Now that's pretty close to a hang on fit, a little trim on the bottom. Can work with that.
Right, that's not half bad. Question is now, how much else do we need to go back to? Chop for that edge there, like so, and see what we got. Yes, that was the right decision. Sure, and the see that what's behind is quite solid. Same again with the tape. You really find three layers is enough. Okie dokie. Right, because this is going to be a little bit of a fiddle, I think I'll get this well done down here, down here first and then work our way across. I can even do a little, I can cut that to fit along there. Right, let's get a magnet to hold that with. Right, first things first, well through primer. Right, okay. That helps hold that a bit better. That's quite a powerful magnet this too, so we might get away with whacking it straight under there now. <laughs> so it's a powerful magnet. That's got that strength put back in the top end of that pillar. And now we can start, I've got to grind this off now, tidy that up. And I think that'll be enough for this evening. Then I'll start working up to dealing with this rot next time. Okay, so shorter video today. I didn't plan to get more than this done, but this rock crept away from me. So it's important that it's, you know, it's got to be right. So that's it welded in there. Again, you can see you've done it in sections and done. Okay, that was uh, that was a challenge, as I expect, as I said at the beginning of the video. So you can tell I've done the intro and the outro all on a, the same shot, yeah. So I hope you can see how that was done. It didn't take that long. So after work this evening a couple of hours and just banged on with it and it doesn't seem like a lot of work done but it's all it all creeps away it all gets away at it this car is definitely a lot worse than i first thought um and that's what happens when you buy from the internet and go and have a look at it i should know better i should have gone and had a look at it myself to, and poked around with a screwdriver but hey ho i was uh, assured that it was a good solid uh, fairly solid car and 
to be fair to the fellow who sold it he does run a business up in Blackburn selling mantas uh, Carl I think his name was um, there is a lot hiding under filler on this car so uh, what, what can you say it is what it is so it's uh, just keep tickling away at it and uh, hopefully we'll get it on the road <laughs> sometime I was hoping about it on the road at the end of last summer but I can't see that happening anytime soon so again just tickle away at it We've been blessed with really nice weather here in Wales the last uh, couple of weeks or so, so I have managed to do a little bit on it. But I believe the weather's about to break, so I'm going to get a tarp out, cover this up, because it'll be a while before I get the chance to work on this again. So thanks for watching, and see you again on the next one. All wrapped up, and uh, keep the worst of the water out, hopefully. Get a little as best tarp.